solve for x. This algebraic problem has one variable, x, has a negative 1 on one side of the equal, and it has a negative 3 on the other side of the equal. We want to isolate this x. We want to separate it from everything so that we can find out what it represents. This really is telling you 8 times a number minus 1 equals negative 3. To isolate the x, do the following. First, look at this number. This is saying negative 1 or minus 1. The opposite of subtraction is addition, or the opposite of a negative is a positive positive 1. What you do on one side of the equal, you must do to the other side of the equal, positive 1. This cancels out. And if you're not sure why, look at your number line and go to negative 1. This is telling you to go to positive, go towards the positive once. This is towards your positive. You're at negative 1, go towards your positive one time. You fall on 0. That is why it cancels out. Go to the other side. Negative 3. Look at your number line. Negative 3. It's telling you go again towards the positive once. So if you go once, you are now at negative 2. Therefore, negative 3 plus 1 is negative 2. Bring down this term, 8x. Bring down your equals. We still have the x with a number. This is really telling you 8 times x, or 8 times x. Again, you do the opposite. If this is multiplication, the opposite of multiplication is division. 8 divided, 8x divided by 8, the same number. What you do on one side of the equal, you must do to the other side. If you put an 8 here, again, e8. 8 over 8 is the same as 1. So this cancels out to 1 over 1. 1x is the same as 8x. Bring down the equals. You see this fraction? You can reduce it. 2 goes into 2 once. 2 goes into 8 four times. Don't forget your negative sign. Negative 1 over 4. We find that x equals negative 1 over 4. You need to check to make sure that that is correct. Let's do the check. Insert your answer where the x is. 8, negative 1 over 4, minus 1, equals negative 3. You have a fraction here. But first, do not forget your order of operation. You must do multiplication or division first, then you do addition or subtraction. We are not going to touch this. We have to do this because this is really multiplication. We have a fraction. Let's put this in fraction form. Now you can see, you can reduce this. 4 goes into 4 once. And 4 goes into 8 two times. Now you have 2 over 1 times negative 1 over 1. Bring this down. 2 over 1 is the same as saying 2. Negative 1 over 1 is the same as saying negative 1. Bring everything else down. Negative 1 equals negative 3. Negative, I'm sorry, 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. Bring everything else down. Negative 2 and negative 1, it's as if you lost money. You lost $2 and you lost $1. You lost $3. Bring everything else down. Negative 3 equals negative 3. Check.